All right, so we've made it to the third boss, Kuroki. This one is really all about patience. Um, one thing that I do suggest, at the very beginning, you fight two people, one with a bat, one with a sword. Take them out and then actually just keep the sword with you, as this you can actually take into the boss battle. Once you've uh, beaten the stage and gotten to the boss, you can quickly just run through the elevator to get back to the boss right after killing these two people. So it's the fastest and easiest to get back to the boss. Um, but this boss is really all about patience. The main thing is she has three different types of attacks. You want to wait until her starting swing is at about chest height and then move back but not too far away because she'll actually do a jump in the air towards you getting close that you can then dodge and then follow up with damage. So basically always be watching for when her first swing is in her attack sequence because if it's at chest height that's when you want to stay close. Um, and get in some damage. If she starts low, this one is actually really difficult to get in and do damage, so um, again, like this, you want to just stay away from her. Again, when it's at chest height, stay close, just block, and then avoid, and then follow up with damage. Um, basically, you always want to be keeping distance on her, so make sure to run away um, after you do some damage or dodge away, uh, just because the her attacks go really far. Um, one thing... If she rushes at you like this, you can either run away by holding R2 or you can actually just spam the block button and you can actually block each one, um, parrying it sometimes, which will do more stagger damage. Um, when you are running away, be careful because it is like a circle arena and these little rocks in the middle uh, can really get you stuck up, especially when you're not seeing them behind you. So just kind of keep the camera moving so you can always make sure um, that, uh, that you're not going to get stuck somewhere. Um, one of the reasons that we actually brought the sword in here is because blocking with it, you actually don't take physical damage like you would if it was just your arms from her uh, weapon. Um, it also does do a little more damage and a little more stagger damage, which is always nice. Um, as you can see, we're still pretty much at full health. We've taken one or two hits just from when she's swinging it around. But, um, but yeah, basically patience is the key here. We're just waiting for that one sequence of attacks like she's doing right now. Uh, and again, you always want to make sure you avoid that slam down and then just get in there and do as much damage as you can. Um, if you get lucky, she'll keep doing it. Um, but basically then when you see that low attack like this, you just want to move away. Wait. Um, I find she doesn't do the special attack, like this sequence of attack, if you move too far away. So you do want to keep somewhat close to her, um, but obviously out of attack range. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's not fancy, you're not rushing in and destroying her or anything like that, but, uh, I do find this is probably the easiest way, and especially if you're trying to do it without dying. And again, I know this attack when she rushes you is really intimidating, but again, just spamming that block button, you can actually parry most of them and you'll take almost no damage. Um, and don't forget to uh, to use your focus as much as possible. Um, you can use it to actually interrupt her attack when she's rushing you if, if you need that extra time. Um, I don't use it here as much because I'm just trying to show kind of all the different attacks that she does. But uh, but yeah, you can make it go a little bit faster by using your, your focus as often as you can. So yeah, that's all you really need to know for phase one. Um, phase two, she does completely different attacks. It's her twin sister, actually. Um, so we're going to see that in just a second. So the most important thing to know here is when she rushes you, um, you have to avoid. And she'll actually follow up her melee attacks with this weird jump back, and then she'll try and kick you in the air, which she's going to do right here. If you see, it staggered me completely. It did a lot of damage, so you want to always avoid that. Um, the timing on it is a little difficult, so it may take some getting used to, but uh, but it's definitely something that you want to, to get used to and learn to do. Um, everything else she does are pretty easily telegraphed that you can figure out. So like when her eye shines like that, she's about to rush you, and you just need to avoid. And as soon as you avoid, then you can follow up with damage. Um, after she does any of these attacks, she does the... or you do damage, she jumps into the air throws the, the knives at you, which again you need to avoid, or if you have the skill you can try and catch them, but that's a little more risky because you could take damage. Um, and basically, yeah, these are the main patterns that you really just need to know. Um, when she slowly runs at you like this, um, she's going to do the melee combo. You can parry them fairly easily, again, just by pressing block over and over. Um, just remember she's going to do that kick in the air. 
And, uh, and she always follows them up again with those knives, so just be careful uh, with that. And you do want to try and avoid them, because just blocking the knives, you do still take damage. Um, and again, yeah, I mean, use your focus whenever you have it. You can get in some extra damage, some extra stagger. Um, and basically, this part of the fight is all really just about avoiding uh, most of her attacks so that you can be close enough to do some damage. This is where you, die. you may need to practice a bit for the, again, like the timing on when her eye glints like that and she rushes in. Um, I know that took me a little bit while too, because it's, it's not right when it flashes, it's like a split second after, so um, you do kind of need to learn that. Um, but basically, once you've got those patterns down, it actually becomes like a really easy fight. This is probably the hardest part when she rushes in, because if you're trying to avoid it and you mess up, um, and honestly, that kick, that kick is the hardest thing for me, because again, if you get hit by it, it really hurts you. So yeah, just get in as much damage as possible. Um, try not to panic. Be right there, I just took a hit. Um, there I blocked her kick and it almost staggered me completely. So again, you, you really want to avoid it as much as possible. There, again, I got the timing wrong, killed me. Um, but she's almost dead already, so... Um, and I mean one life on a boss, I'd say, is pretty good. You're just trying to get through it, so... You'll die now. Again, trying to block those attacks are not very good. You need to avoid them. And then right here, you'll see, so yeah, you can catch them, you can throw them back and get some extra damage on her. Um, this is, again, risky, because if you miss, you're going to take damage. So, uh, a lot of times, it's probably just easier to avoid them. Um, but yeah, that's really all it is to this fight. Again, this one probably takes longer than a lot of the other ones because, again, you're kind of waiting around for patterns. But um, once again, you know those patterns should be pretty easy to do. So hopefully that helps. I'll have a guide up for the next boss really shortly. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, happy gaming.